Hi doctors, how are you? Today we are going to discuss some interesting case presentation from endocrinology. The first case I am going to present for you is acromegaly. It is a disorder due to over functioning of growth hormone. So for huge level you should know what are all the drugs useful for treatment of acromegaly. For treating acromegaly, there are two important group of drugs we are using. One group of drug acting by inhibiting release of growth hormone from the pituitary. Another group of drug acting by blocking the actions of growth hormone at the receptor level. So first group of drugs are growth hormone release inhibitors. They are all stomatostatin analogs. The example for stomatostatin analogs are octreotide, landreotide, vepreotide and seglitide. All these are stomatostatin analog acting by inhibiting release of growth hormone from pituitary. All these drugs are given parenterally that is subcutaneous injection. There is one more group of drug acting by inhibiting release of growth hormone that is called D2 analog, dopaminergic analog like bromocrotein, cabergolin. These are orally given drug. So the very important MC question, which are the orally given drug useful for treatment of acromegalamine? Think of D2 analog like bromocrotein and cabergolin. There is another one more group of drug useful for treatment of acromegaly. They are called growth hormone receptor blocker. The example for growth hormone receptor blocker is pegbisomen. Pegbisomen. It is given injection subcutaneous route. That means a take message. The one and only group of drug useful for treatment of acromegaly that too given orally is D2 analog like bromocrotein and cabergolin. In this I want to discuss some extra points also. The extra points are, look at this. It's an image where you look at the face. So it's called a moon like face and buffalo hump and look at the abdomen, central obesity and stretch marks are there. It's a classical problem of Cushing syndrome. There are so many drugs useful for treatment of Cushing syndrome but my question is name one stomatostatin analog useful for treating Cushing syndrome in think of a newer drug called Peseriotide. So remember Peseriotide a stomatostatin analog approved for treatment of Cushing syndrome. And one more interesting point I want to tell you look at the stomatostatin analog. We have octreotide, landreotide, vepreotide, seglitide. In that, octreotide is very, very, very important because octreotide not only useful for treatment of acromegaly, it is also useful for so many other conditions like carcinoid tumor, a serotonin secreting tumor where too much of serotonin causing diarrhea. So, for treating the secretory diarrhea caused by Carcinoid tumor, the best drug will be octreotide. Octreotide also useful to control wasting disorder in a case of HIV patient. And very very important, octreotide is the drug of choice for controlling bleeding from varices. Esophageal varices, one of the dangerous complications of portal hypertension where the patient is going to have hematemesis. So, to control the blood vomiting, to control the bleeding from varices, the drug of choice is octreotide. And finally, the adverse effects of octreotide includes gallbladder stone formation, gallstone and vitamin B12 deficiency resulting in megaloblastic anemia. That finishes my first case presentation. Here we discussed drugs useful for treatment of acromegaly and extra point support octreotide and new information pesariotide a stomatostatin analog useful for treatment of Cushing syndrome. That finishes first case.